Whether you want to use multiple keys, puzzle items, or pickups to open a door, the principles are the same. This video will show you how to use puzzle items, keys, switches and pickups to trigger a door opening. These could probably be mixed and matched, so you could use a combination to make your level more interesting. For each puzzle hole, switch or keyhole you place, you need to add a trigger for the door you want to open. I've added my keys and corresponding keyholes. Now we'll set triggers for the keyholes. For the first item trigger, make sure, bit 1 is ticked. And for the second item, make sure, bit 2 is ticked. All of the bit boxes need to be ticked to make the door open. I'm only using two keys for this first example. I'll set the trigger for the first one, and tick the bit one. For the second, I will make sure the rest are all checked. Now I'll use multiple pickups to trigger the door. Remember, pickups must have an OCB of 64. I'll be using 4, so 3 of the items need their bit boxes ticked, and the last one will have 2 boxes ticked, to make up the 5 that are needed for the door to open. First, I'll set the door triggers on each square. Now I'll set the triggers for the pickups. We only have 4 items, so I'll tick the last 2 boxes on the last item. If I were using 5, all items would need just 1 box ticked each. These puzzle items need an OCB of 2, so Lara will use the crowbar to prise them off the wall.
Levers work in the exact same way. I hope that wasn't too difficult to understand. Basically, all of your puzzle items bit boxes need to be ticked for them to work properly, whether you need to tick 4, 3, 2, or just one for the last item. Just remember to place the corresponding keyholes and puzzle holes for the items you are using. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to be notified of any new videos in this series, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can visit my website at www.tombraidervault.com.